Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation, and oh my god, I have some fantastic news to share. I mean, you guys probably already know from the thumbnail, but <laughs> we'll, we'll jump straight into it because I am just as excited as probably a lot of you guys are about this uh, about this topic because it's something we've been wanting for a such for the longest time for like the past year, year and a half or so. Um, but jumping straight into it on the uh, Japanese version of the Square Enix website, uh, they have actually announced, like some of these things we've actually already seen already, uh, but everything that's been coming out in terms of their anniversary, their third anniversary, they've even upgraded the actual like uh, thumbnail thing quite a bit too. Um, but everything that they've been posting so far for the third anniversary has kind of been uh, as a sort of countdown. Uh, for the anniversary, which is actually tomorrow for them, technically, apparently. They've stated right here that Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is the third anniversary this September. With thanks, we prepared seven projects. Do not miss the biggest festival month in the past until the third anniversary of tomorrow. Information is released daily in a countdown format. And they said seven projects. Uh, right now, they've only shown five. So it, I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be two more we don't yet know about. But just to kind of go over everything, for those of you who don't know, uh, the first thing that they've revealed, and this is only for JP, uh, and they've done stuff like this before in the JP version of the game, which is essentially by doing like certain banners and like the free draw stuff, you have a chance to get on a PlayStation Pro. We don't have that type of luxury in global, so let's ignore that. Uh, the next thing, of course, which we've already seen, which is basically uh, the whole VIP limited board coin thing where you get one coin for every 1,000 jewels you spent in the past uh, playing this game so far. So that's what this is about right here. The third thing though, and this is what everyone is excited about, is the fact that they actually reveal Sephiroth for, I, I kind of want to say the first time, it's not really the first time, but this is like the actual like first in-game like footage type thing that we finally get to see for Sephiroth, because as you guys know, or hopefully you might know, they teased Sephiroth like a year or a year and a half ago, like forever ago, basically. And we got no word of it at all whatsoever since then. So it kind of came off at the time like it was just some sort of publicity stunt and not actually something that they were gonna do. But apparently, I guess it is becoming a thing right now too. And according to the description, it says, finally that Sephiroth appears in his events. Now, I am using Google Translator, by the way, so it might be a little off. Including that name technique, great atten pay attention to movement and, or great attention to movement and dialogue. You may be able to listen to that famous song too. So I am assuming that while we get to fight Sephiroth, we also, of course, get to hear his infamous song of the one winged angel of death. So it, I am absolutely stoked for this. I am praying to God that the, Sephiroth himself will actually be put into the chasm of challenges for you to fight against. Because if if he is, oh my God, I'm gonna, I, I'm I'm a fan girl. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So I'm hoping. I'm praying. I'm looking forward to it. Now the only concern I have about this, of course, is the fact that uh, I hope the global version of the game gets this as well, and it's not just for the JP version of the game. Um, cause if it, if it is, I'm going to be pretty sad. So we will see only time will tell. Of course, the global version of the game hasn't said anything in terms of these either. Of course, uh, we're kind of just so randomly getting the same stuff that JP has, uh, which is kind of strange. Like I'd, I'd wish like at least the English or global version of the game would, would be, would give us kind of like these type of updates alongside them. So like. Um, so I don't have to always look at the JP version, but whatever. In case you didn't know as well, JP is also getting these really, really nice kind of like light suits. That in case you've, if you've ever been to Disney World or Disneyland, they like to have parades, especially in the middle of the night and stuff. Uh, where not only are the big bl blimps and uh, like things that they ride on like full of like lights and stuff on it. But even the outfits that the people walking down the street for the parades are wearing are also filled with glowing lights too. So to me, this is actually really cool, uh, especially having been to Disney World quite a few times myself. Um, I would actually really like to wear this myself. I don't know what it does, but 
it looks really cool. Um, and the next thing as well, and this is actually kind of fairly a bit of a surprise, which is that the 3.0 version of the game is apparently going to be updated, at least on GP. I'm assuming it's going to sooner or later come to Global 2 for this part. But uh, it, they kind of give us a little bit of a glimpse as to what we may be seeing right here. So they say right here, a new, a new communication tool appears that allows you to thread with your favorite subject and talk to everyone. Let's talk with friends and people with the same hobby. Besides comments, you can use character staff and and stamps now i don't know if this is just like a translation error right here where it says staff i don't know what it means by that but we see right here in the picture too something right here with like sora something with here in terms of a dark side and fighting and like three like three five eight days so i'm kind of confused as to what exactly this is right here i'm not too sure but they do show in the second panel though where it, it's kind of like a union cross type thing where everyone can gather around and like talk um, I'm assuming we can actually type text too, in which case that's actually pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Um, and we can use this, we can actually use the stickers <laughs> that are like in the in-game chat function um, that have been there for the longest time. But like most advanced parties don't actually use the chat function within the game just because it's, it's not very good. And most of us, including myself, resort to third party apps and sites and stuff to actually communicate with our party members instead. This is actually kind of cool. I'm kind of interested to see what it is, but I'm mostly interested in what the heck these three things are right there. That's what I'm most interested in. And of course, Sephiroth as well. Okay, so just a small little update. KH Union Cross News has actually added something in terms of the Sephiroth uh event as well i don't know how much of this is actually like confirmed or not because i only have the actual like uh, google translation to go off of but according to their tweet it says that he's also going to come along with cloud to challenge the coliseum i don't know i'm kind of confused about that but I, I figured i might as well throw that in there and last but not least the last thing i kind of want to mention as well too is the fact that it like i said before it's been about a year year and a half since their initial like teaser in terms of Sephiroth and if it takes that long for them to implement something like this into the game it it really makes me question as to what what process do the devs have to go through in order to implement something in the game because I feel like if we were to gain some type of insight as to why exactly it sometimes takes the devs so long to actually do certain things it might give us as a player's um, a little bit more of a, how should I say, like a li little bit more consideration towards the devs. So that way we're not always just like constantly like banging on them like, yo, what the heck are you doing? Because for the most part, I'm just like you guys. I can pretty much only react to and think about the stuff that I've seen or hear about. And if no one says anything in terms of what's going on on their side of the equation, then like, we, like all we can do is speculate. And whether or not that's for good or bad, that just kind of depends. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.